I am so stoked, man. Count's Customs is hosting a monster car show in just a few weeks, and there are going to be some gorgeous rides out here. So as the host of this show, I got to make sure I come out with a ride that steals the show hands down. One of my boys at the shop got a line on a beautiful 1973 Buick Riviera Boat Tail. In my opinion, that's got to be one of the sexiest cars to come out of the 70s. So we're on our way to go check this baby out. Who knows? Might just score it. There she is. Sets. Oh, yeah, she's standing out. Dude, I love those cars. Love those cars. And it's even got the body trim on it. Let's see what we can do here. All right, all right, all right. Let's check this thing out. Eric, I'm Danny. Nice to meet you, man. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. This is Shannon. What's going on, man? Brother, tell me about this Buick Riviera. 73, right? 1973 Bolt It's got the original 455 in there. OK. When I picked it up, I pretty much brought it back to the dead. I love these cars. These early 70s Buick Rivieras are highly sought after by today's collectors. That distinctive boat tail puts them in a class all by themselves. The 1973 model is considered the most elegant. Built on a much longer wheelbase, the long, flowing, sculpted sides from fender to wheel well, this Rivy could tip the scale at about 5,000 pounds. Sadly, this was the final year for the boat tail style, and it would be amazing if I could get my hands on this car. I know you're looking to sell her. I know you're looking to build another project. I am a cash buyer. What is your cash price? 5,000, Danny. 5,000? Yeah, got to have it. I can make this easy on you. I can yeah. go seven yeah. and work our way down we'll to work five. Our way down. That would make you feel better. No, that wouldn't make me feel better at all. <laughs> I'm going to give you five grand for it, straight up. Done deal. After you're fair. I couldn't be happy. The price that Eric was asking for this beautiful boat tail was completely fair, which means I can dump a little bit more money into making this car the centerpiece of that car show, man. This thing is going to be one of the sexiest rides we've done to date. I love that Damn. car, man. Today is the big day, and I couldn't be more stoked. Every cool guy with every cool car is here, man. We got gassers and low riders and muscle cars, and each one of them is special. The turnout is better than I hoped. We are jam-packed, and I can't wait to show off my beautiful Boat Tail Riviera. This car, man, it was love at first sight. I knew I had to have her, but she definitely needed a lot of attention. Thankfully, the sheet metal was in really good shape, but there was plenty of body work to do. Then my team of master upholsters went crazy building a full custom interior. But it was up to my man Ryan to take her to the next level of sinister. He spent weeks making sure every detail on that paint stayed true to the spirit of this ride. She was a real labor of love. Rolly, bring that beautiful baby out. See the grill from here. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> ah. <laughs> wow. I hate you for making this so cool, Rice. Oh, look at that thing in the sun. <laughs> look at that in the sun. What you thinking, Eric? What you thinking? A lot I of think she looks man. beautiful. Oh, man. See, so getting your, get your stamp of approval. That's what I wanted, man. This 1973 Boat Tail Riviera was born to be me. But getting her to look as fierce as she is supposed to look took a lot of work from my whole team. This Riviera came with a big block 455, and we made sure we rebuilt that engine properly from top to bottom, including a new intake manifold and new carburation. The back end of this Riviera screams Corvette, so I had my guys fabricate a tribute to one of the most recognizable vehicles ever made, the 1963 split window Corvette. We kept the craziness going on in the front end, fitting this beautiful baby out with a one-of-a-kind custom grille and beautiful handmade split bumpers. The interior on this Riviera definitely makes a bold statement. Custom seats made throughout, custom waterfall style console that runs from the back all the way to the front, Overstuffed lowrider styled crushed velour upholstery with inserted mirrors throughout. And to set the mood proper, it's always about lighting. This car has got custom LED lighting hidden everywhere. Headliner, console, door panels all over the place just to keep that mood cool. Finally, Ryan went off on the paint. Pinstriping, silver leafing, water drops, spider webs, airbrushing, you name it, Ryan painted it. This Riviera captures the spirit of the 70s and takes it to a whole nother level. She's bad, gentlemen. Great job. The team went off. 
What an awesome day, and what a bunch of awesome rides, man. The Vegas car community, tight group of guys. We're always turning it up another notch. And I gotta say, today, that smoking Riviera set the bar. Let's enjoy this beautiful day, you guys. Let's enjoy this beautiful day.